Welcome back to another episode of Isekai Oji-san. It's been a little bit of a break. I think we keep having another break after another break. And this episode is actually at 7. Other seasonal animes that start on the same season as Isekai Oji-san is at 10. But honestly, honestly, I don't mind. Because that just means we got a lot more content to go, right? In about 3 weeks, every other season is done for this seasonal anime. Isekai Oji-san is going to continue though for like another good 5, like 3 extra weeks I guess, right? What happened last time? Also, this is the part where I did a quick recap. If you want to jump to the reaction, there is a timestamp below. The most memorable thing is... The most memorable thing was the dog barking. The dog barking. Mabel was actually barking like a dog. Actually, with, I, I don't want to do the post because that's a little bit... Okay, I'll, I'll do the post. But it's... When you have pretty cute anime girls doing... Barking like a dog... At a first glance, you might think that it's ha ha, it's just funny, cute, whatever. But there's a degenerate community. There is a degenerate community where you already know the dujins are already made in the making. It's it's a bit much, but it was kind of shocking out of nowhere. Like, wow, wow, she actually barked. Why? Because I think she said, I, th I think it was because that she just wants to keep living like a need and she do whatever it takes, right? When you said, please don't do anything. Even though she did get the ring, where if you sell it off, she's pretty much set for life. But there's like a... Funny phenomenon, I'm getting off topic, but apparently there's a funny phenomenon where if you're starving, but you have a lot of food, you actually start to go into this weird psychic state, a um, psyche state where you start to hoard the food and you don't really eat it as much. You start hoarding instead. It's a weird thing where the more, the more like, um, deprived you are of some kind of resource, the more you'll try to like, kind of save it, apparently. I don't know if that's actually true, but Mabel is looking at the ring. I could sell it off, but... Maybe I'll just leave this for behind for, for some safety insurance, right? There's some competition between Elf Girl and Mabel. And for some reason, Elf Girl won't tell us her name. I'm gonna guess that this is gonna be... It's probably for story reasons, right? It's not just random Elf Girl. There's gonna be a moment where she actually does tell, you know, us the name, even though it's already, these events have already happened. We're just replaying what says memories right now, right? But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like an impactful moment where the Elf Girl actually tells us her name. Or she just named Elf Girl. And that's all there is to it. Let's just begin the episode. There's some competition brewing between them two, but... Oh? Is that her, like, pendant necklace? Did she put it on top or... Oh! Toast! You gotta censor the toes! Hey, what's up? Uh, embarrassing pose. I can explain. I'm just... I can explain. I just want my jacket, you know. Did we try to like we we open the jacket up, right? Oh, we're tying her up already, OG son. If you strip her of her jacket like this, though, please don't have a creepy face when you're doing this. Because one time I was straining Mabel by her legs like this. <laughs> yeah, the most... mm. Ah, good idea. Okay. Hi. Slap. Oh, it's a punch. OG son, you'll be fine. He wants the jacket back, even though. You should probably just keep, you know, leave your jacket there, like... Oh? Skimpy outfit? Pants? What is it? Oh. Uh-oh, she's gonna see it. What, what What? do we have in her hand? It's a revealing... Wow. Oh, you can put it on her? Oh! Oh. 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 Okay. Elf wore many dresses and... Many dress. Show me other memories! New girl? Or no, just random healer girl. Oh. Who's oh no, it's a goblin. Oh no, it's a go- Oh no, it's a goblin. No, it's oji san though, isn't it? Yeah, it's so fucking oji san <laughs> The moment he's a goblin, I'm like, wait. I'm also not in the work. Yeah, like, let's go. This healer girl, is she the last girl that I saw in the opening? Because I remember there's like one... Oh my god, these are actual goblins. You goblins in anime! If they're not goblins from Slime... It's looking bad. If they're goblins in Goblin Slayer... Oof. This goblin looks funny though. Wipe them out with one spell, Yuji Sun. Uh... Oh! He's gonna do the fall damage. He's gonna bait them at full aggro and then... Fall to the pit, idiot! <laughs> Oh, to the pits! Oji-san, this isn't part of the plan. Because they're not AI. They're not programmed to just directly follow you to one direction and... 
and then just fall off. They're just not good. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe something else will happen. Oh. Some epic music is playing. <gasps> Nani! God, he looks so cool. <laughs> he looks so cool, but he's just doing the second act. He's just doing the second act. So, it's like the previous episode where we killed the, uh, the dragon by seven elf. Oh my god. I mean, you can just do that. That's so much cooler, but you gotta mix in the goofy and the really cool moment so that he really shines when he's cool. More than half, to be honest. He's charming Edgar, even. Everything is going good. What happens? What happens to the point this shit just falls apart? Uh oh. Mm -hmm. With the help of the spirits. That was the Attack on Titans episode, right? You were watching then too? <laughs> What's him smile? Mm. Although your appearance strikes fear in everybody's heart. Listen there. Forget everything. Why? He's going to make everybody forget because he saw them communicate with the, you know, Kill the barrier. I guess he doesn't want that to be public known. But now they're gonna fucking hate you. We just had a nice friendship going. Now we just ruined it. Hedgehogs? We're fighting he human-sized hedgehogs like Sonic. Don't kill it. It could be Sonic. Sonic making a rare appearance right now. Oh, the beast. Is this the hedgehog? No, not even close. It's just the head. It's, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute, other than the fact that it's human size and it could probably kill us. <laughs> Vegeta looks so disappointed. It looks so cute, though. Yes, they do. They just don't look like Sonic. No, that's a Sonic. My man, your only definition of a hedgehog is bound to Sega Nala, so it's Sonic. Can it even talk? Oh, we can though. Wild Talker! Mm. What happened? What to be some ridiculous explanation. Oh? It triggered it. What is he saying? What is he saying? Human meat is disgust. You don't want to eat us. I enjoy inflicting pain with my needles. Human meat is disgusting. I just want to torture them. They're dying screams, are you? This is so I toy them with the other time. What do you say? He's he makes such cute noise. Die! Just be gone. That was like one of the fanciest magic we used. Oh my god, we just summoned like a fit. Alright, done. Overkill, but based on what the hedgehog was saying, maybe deserved. It was so cute! And it was making cute noises, but it was saying... I just love killing humans and torturing them! <laughs> uh, she's getting hit on by some creepy dude. Wait, wait, should we be shown flying like this, guys? Uh... Takafumi, are you feeling jealous? You want to protect her? Maybe this is gonna elicit some kind of feelings for romance for actually, you know, for her. Because so far, there's really nothing, right? But that guy's face is... She's my friend, after all. That's it, right? Just a friend? What? Flip phone. Why are you calling your phone like the spirits are on your speed dial? Hello, spirits! Can you... I run the YouTube channel from another world! Huh? Oh, okay. Based on his face, I don't think so, but it could be tricking us again. What kind of spells are you gonna use, dude? I'll, I'll literally kill. What do you mean? But this isn't an isekai. If you accidentally kill him, you kill him. Uh, what a look at his. <laughs> Your face looks. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Careful there. Hello. Wow, a serious look. Look at this guy's face, man. 
Like, he looks like such a villain, such a comical villain. He's just going like this, too. Friends? Childhood friends? <laughs> His face is like, uh. -huh. Who, Megalol? Who are you? Uh. Do you remember me? Oh, how did he turn out like him? Oh. Okay, no, no, that's a better face. Nietzsche, he's a, like a big bro? Oh, okay. Okay, it's a friend then. Did he just say, are you in fourth grade? Did I read that wrong? Oji-san's a pretty popular YouTuber, honestly. Huh? Hmm. What was that? Did he just realize something? What is he gonna do? Oh, cool. <laughs> Why are you talking like a guy, Jin? <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> Never heard of your channel! But what? But? Aww, yo! More than friends, maybe? What's your... Not to blush! He wouldn't just be doing that if it was just a regular casual friend, but... Is he gonna erase it again? A hero? Who is this hero they've been talking... Hmm? Why? Are you the hero somehow? Oh, whoa, whoa, careful, careful. Careful, careful. You're gonna end up sli- You're the hero? Shining Crusader, Alicia. Okay. She's the Shining Crusader, I guess. Uh, interesting. I don't really know what that means, but okay. We finally got the hero that we were talking about. So there it is. And that's the episode. What do we really do? Honestly, it's hard to kind of just like recap a show like an OG sign where everything is just kind of just like fun, fun, fun. There's not really like an overlying plot, you know. There's usually just some kind of plot line. I mean, the hero at the end, that is a plot, I guess, right? That definitely is a plot line at the end. But I, I guess this is just gonna... She's gonna be the actual final girl that's gonna join us because I keep seeing in the opening there is like one more girl I think that is her now so we have Mabel elf girl and Alicia the shining crusader why is she cru I guess crusader means holy you know almost like a paladin but she's like a healer more like but then she can't even carry a sword but is she is she really a is she really a hero I don't know there's probably more than meets the eye in this right I guess one thing that did happen is Takafumi and Fujimiya there is romantic intent. It's not one-sided from Fujimiya trying to show, you know, affection to Takafumi and him being like, Ah, here's a childhood friend. No! The part where she said, you made me smile, made him blush, and he's like... And he's kind of getting defensive over other guys too, so... I guess... I guess Classroom of... Uh, not, not Classroom of the Elite. Call of the Night was correct. You know how... If you watch that show. Nazna and Ko. The one, one way to get Ko really engaged is for Nazna to hang out with other guys and Ko gets jealous and so now. So, yeah, I guess... That's that says in real life too. The moment you see someone that you like and kind of be with other people, you get jealous and you start feeling more, I don't know, urgency to be with them. So that kind of might come up with new feelings. So I guess that might be a ship. Probably not the most important thing since this is comedy first. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and post to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to log push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.